Well, I mean, speaking of trends, I mean, like, it is a very old industry, alcohol. I mean, it's only been 80 years since, like, the repeal of Prohibition. And so, do you also see other growth in this industry besides technology? Would you guys say there's growth happening in alcohol? Or in the booze industry? Well, I mean, massively. I mean, look at, uh, like, if you look not even that long ago, how many vodkas were in the U.S., right? I mean, we pretty much started with Smirnoff, and then Absolute came in with the big fancy bottle and a higher price point, and everyone was like, oh my god, this thing is crazy. Um, you know, we see the explosion of Mezcals or all sorts of new product segments today. You know, I think that just as, I guess as a population, we start to become more innovative or start to enjoy things in, in new ways. You see sort of these cycles of craft beer or craft spirits going up, up and down. Um, I think there's always room. I mean, it's, it's a business that really has been locked into a, a certain path for yeah, like 80 to 100 years. Um, and there's always room to create, I think, creative and, and interesting new experiences for customers that want to want to have a drink, right? I think we can all agree. So part of the reason why we got into this is we always have a joke that drinking is like the oldest and largest social network in the world because we're tech nerds, right? Um, so, but, but it's true. It's, it's that I think alcohol is this underlying just layer in particularly just social behavior in the U.S. And it's not necessarily about drinking. It's about like being there with your friends and family or taking relationships to a new level. And uh, uh, whatever that may mean. <laughs> um, but, it, but it's, you know, how do we sort of facilitate, you know, those, uh, you know, friends getting together or whatever it is. Right.